Welcome back to the show. I am now here with Jamie. She is the vice president of the Stingers All-Star Cheerleading. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. So tell us about what it takes to be a cheerleader. Well, it definitely takes lots of drive and passion. Uh, you have to be willing to try anything. So it's not that you can't have fear, but you need to be able to pull it within yourself to try something new and to not be afraid to fall. You're going to fall down in one way or another, but we need to brush ourselves off and get back up and try, try again. That's some good advice. <laughs> so the Stinger season is coming up starting here in September. Uh, what are some of the events coming up that's throughout the season? Well, just before our competitive season starts on September 6th, we are participating in Medicine Hat Active. So that's at the Cypress Centre and it is basically the last time for any new athletes or um, athletes from past seasons to come back and register. So we will have our registration packages there. Uh, we also have information on birthday parties. So we do birthday party packages at the gym. So there'll be information of that there. Uh, we will start our um, season off with the grand opening of the gym. So we will be having that coming up in September. All right, so um, who can register to be a cheerleader? Basically anyone. Um, as we mentioned earlier, you can be anywhere between 3 and 17 to 18 years of age. Um, we have currently, right now, girls. Uh, we've had a few boys show interest in our program. And we definitely take anyone, no matter what your uh, experience is. So it is a lot of dancing, um, stunting, tumbling. So I mean, anyone who has any dance experience, uh, or gymnastics experience, a definitely huge asset to the team. But even if you've got no experience at all, um, absolutely come out and give it a try. If you have the drive and the passion to, to try, then we definitely want to see you. So do you want to explain the difference between the Stingers and maybe some of the other cheerleading that happens at maybe the schools around? Sure. So we are definitely a different different class of our own. Um, we are an all-star competitive team. So we have a mandate where we have to participate in some community events and give back to our community. So we have three community events that we have to participate in every year. Um, we don't cheer for a sports team. So we we have been known to um, help and do some support with the Medicine Hat Tackle Football Association, but we don't cheer for football or basketball. Whereas some of the um, high school teams, uh, McCoy for example, cheer for their football and basketball teams. Um, we compete in a different class than high school. So uh, a lot of times we'll go to the same type of competitions, but the high school division will be in the morning and we'll compete in the afternoon. So. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's similar elements. They do stunting, they do tumbling dance, um, but just different division, different set of rules. And how did you get involved? Well, actually, funny story, I had no intentions of being a coach. I actually, four years ago, took my daughter to uh, an information night. Dawn had this vision of setting up uh, cheerleading within Medicine Hat and she called a general practice, had sent memos out to different schools in Medicine Hat. My daughter brought home a pamphlet saying, I want to try this. So I took her and then my daughter opened her mouth and said, oh, my mom used to be a cheerleader. Next thing I know, I had Dawn saying, I need your name and number. We can do this. And she just kind of took it took it and ran with it. So um, a lot of certifications afterwards, a lot of meetings and trying to get things off the ground. But yeah, that was kind of how I started. I stumbled into it. And here you are. And here I am, enjoying it fully. All right, well, thank you so much. And how can we find out more information again? Uh, you can go on the website, so www.stingers.ca, or you can give Donna a call, 403 878 9699. Sorry, 403 All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We have so much more coming up on Go Southern Alberta.